Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bill. We're in Dungeon Crawl Classics for this video. Uh, we are going over the creating a character uh, video playlist. We are on Wizard. So let's see with my zero level character or if your game master was skipping the zero level funnel, uh, your zero level character got your level into level one. I got... Um, hit points of three for my zero level character. My strength is seven. My agility is eight. My stamina is seven. My personality is 11. My luck is 11. And my intelligence is 12. And this was my zero level character that I would take in the first level character. My saves are all zero. Fort Reflex Will. So, as a wizard, you gain a d4 hit points at first level. So, let me find my d4. I gain three more hit points. So, this wizard will have six hit points. Weapon training. A wizard is trained to use uh, of the following weapons dagger, longbow, longsword, short bow, short sword, and staff. The fact that they're trained in bows is different from other uh, RPGs I've played, so that's interesting. Wizards rarely wear armor as it hinders spellcasting. That is normal for most wizards from most RPGs. Alignment. Wizards pursue magical arts according to their natural inclinations. Chaotic wizards study black magic. Natural or lawful wizards seek... Neutral or lawful wizards, sorry. Seek control over elements. Wizards of all persuasions practice enchantment. Caster level. Caster level is a measurement of a wizard's power in channeling a spell's energy. A wizard's caster level is usually his level as a wizard. For example, a second level wizard usually has a caster level of two. Magic. Magic is unknown, dangerous, and inhuman. Even the best wizards occasionally fail to properly harness a spell with unpredictable unpre results. Wizards thus uh, in, inculcate their preferred magics, lest they err in casting a spell and corrupt themselves with misdirected magical energies. At first level, a wizard determines four spells that he knows, rep representing years of study and practice and his comprehension expands a as his comprehension expands a wizard may learn more spells progressively higher levels a wizard knows a number of spells as shown on table 1-12 which is on the page after this modified by his intelligence score <laughs> so if you have an intelligence bonus you get more known spells are determined randomly uh, they may be of any level for which the Wizard is eligible, as shown by the max spell level column. The wizard chooses the level before marking his die roll. Higher level spells are more powerful but harder to cast, and there are consequences for failure. Wizards cast spells by making a spell check. A wizard's spell check is usually 1d20 plus intelligence modifier plus caster level. In some cases, a wizard may roll a different die on the spell check. See Mercurial Magic. Supernatural Patrons. Wizards weave magic spells in consolation with the powers from supernatural places and uh, the outer planes. Demons and devils, angels, celestials, ghosts, outsiders, devas, genies, uh, elementals, chaos lords, spirits, elder gods, alien intelligence, and concepts foreign to mortal comprehension whisper secrets in exchange for favors, 
best left unexplained. In everyday uh, concourse, these secrets manifest as spells. In dire circumstances, the wizard can invoke one of his patron patrons directly and call for material assistance. This sort of request is called invoking the patron. To invoke the patron, the wizard must spell burn at least one point of an ability score and cast the spell invoke patron. There may be additional requirements depending on the specific circumstances. Presuming the patron uh, condescends to attend to the wizard, some negotiation may be required. A bobble exchange, a secret name spoken, a sacrificial token burned, or maybe a quest performed. If the patron deigns to act, it sends an emissary to assist the wizard in the way the patron deems most appropriate. Invoking a patron is powerful magic. Do not use it lightly. And then examples of patrons, uh, Babu, Babug, Babils, Demon Lord of Amphibians, Azzi Dahaka, Demon Prince of Storms and Waste, the King of Elfland, Fey Ruler of the Lands Beyond Twilight, Sezrikin the Elder, the Wickedest of Sorcerers, the Three Fates, who control the fate of all men and gods to see that the world reaches its destiny, Yidgril, the world root. Obituke, Lord of the Five, Pit Fiend, and Baylor. Itha, Prince of Elemental Wind. Familiars. More than one wizard has found comfort in the company of a black cat, hissing snake, or clay homunculus. A wizard may utilize the spell Find Familiar to obtain such a partner. Luck. A wizard's luck modifier applies to rolls for corruption and mercurial magic. And with my luck score, my modifier is zero. But at least it's not a penalty. Languages. A wizard knows two additional languages for every point of intelligence modifier, as described in Appendix L. And with an intelligence 12, I still believe my modifier is zero. Action dice. A wizard's first action dice can be used for attacks or spell checks, but his second action dice can only be used for spell checks. At fifth level, a wizard can cast two spells in a single round, the first with a d20 spell check and the second with a d14. Note that the results of mercurial magic may modify the action dice based on the die chain. So. Let's look at the uh, wizard table. For level one, I get a plus zero attack. My crit die in table is 1d6 on table one. And as a wizard, I never get off of table one for critical hits, but my crit die maxes out at a d14 at 10th level. Actually, it maxes that out at ninth level because it doesn't change after that. My action die is a d20. My spells known, I know four of them. My max level spells is one, so I won't know any spells beyond first level. I get a plus one to reflex plus zero to fortitude, plus one to will. And then I guess I'll be a chaotic wizard. I just like the idea of a chaotic wizard. I also like the idea of the lawful wizard. So I always err on what I seem would be the most fun for me to play. And right now a chaotic wizard seems like it'd be the most to play. My level one title as a Chaotic Wizard is Cultist. My level two title would be Shaman. My level three would be Diabolist. My level four would be Warlock or Witch. My level five would be Necromancer. And then 
There's no titles beyond level five, but you know. So now let me bookmark the next page and let's go look at spells. So damage to here you go spells. Okay, it is recommended that when you're picking spells for your wizard that don't leave it all random or another rule that I would use that'd be more of a house rule is I'd allow you to roll all four of them randomly and then I'd allow you to change out two of them to spells that would be most useful to you um, as far as if you ended up with a whole bunch of spells that won't have a whole lot of use to you. So let's roll a D30. I believe I'm only supposed to roll a D20, but I have not read anywhere specific about that. So let's just roll a D30 because there's 27 results. Anything uh, higher than 27 is a 27 for this table. So 23. So I had learned the sleep spell. Eleven Feather Fall Twenty Nine, so that's a twenty seven, which is patron spell. The prerequisite to that is you have to have invoke patron, which is another first level spell. You just have to have it to have this one. So I will skip that and roll again. Four, chill touch. And then one more. 19, patron bond, which is the prerequisite to the patron spell. Which means in the future I can learn that patron spell, which is good. So I would go with that random result, but if I say ended up with like Uh, four spells that are like utility spells and nothing that would help me win combat then I would switch one or two of them out for combat spells because I like to be effective in combat as well as have the utility magic so let's go and pick a patron just to finish that part off and then we'll be done making our wizard the only thing left would be buying equipment which with every character I've created for these videos we've skipped that step uh, you would buy you would buy your equipment with whatever your GM awarded you from the zero level adventure. Or if you all skip that and going to just start with first level characters, whatever he said you would start with, if anything. So there are only five levels of spells. I think I misquoted myself in an earlier video saying that there, each level of spells equal to the level of the spellcaster. There's only five levels of spells. Every two levels of spellcaster, you then go up to the next level of spell. So, that said, some of the spells, if you're more familiar with other role-playing games like D&D, &D, each spell level is a little bit more potent than the spells you would normally find in it, with the exception of first level being all your weaker first level spells. But the effects of casting a spell is very entertaining with the random result you could end up with since you're making a, a spell check to cast the spell.
probably would have helped if I looked up where patrons were. One twenty two, let's start there. It says disapproval, which would be something you would see with your patrons. DAT disapproval. Corruption, mercurial magic. Spell duels, unholy. Okay, credits. I'm surprised. I remember reading patrons a long time ago, but I can't find them with a quick flip. So let's look. Monsters, crits for monsters, Three fates. Okay, so now I'm in patrons. I think I'll pick Azzy Dahaka, the Demon Prince of Storms and Waste. So that'll be my patron. There's rules for patron taint. There's rules for spell burn, and there are some spells that you would get from him. Snake trick, Kith of the Hydra, Reap the Whirlwind. Each of these is a different level. And that's it. So the highest level spell you get from him is third level, which is not a big deal. I believe that's the same for each one of them. So that'll be my patron. We'll go over in more details what the patrons do, each patron individually, in future videos. So look forward to those. If you have any comments, put them in the comments below. Until we all meet again, guys.